let's say that you bought this fuel additive and the fuel additive makes your miles per gallon increase. They actually sell those that will increase your miles per gallon. So your miles per gallon, your mileage, goes from 17.5 miles per gallon So we can actually say that MPG, that's how we normally see it, right? Miles per gallon. To, let's do 18.2 miles per gallon. What I want to do is find the percent increase. Remember from last time, percent increase is the, the value percentage-wise on the increase from this number to this number. So we're finding out, like, did it increase 10%? Did it increase 5%, 8%? We're trying to find out what percentage increase we have there. So the next question, or our question here, is find the percent increase. Now, I gave you three steps on how to do these problems. The first step, what's the first step when you're given two numbers like that? What should you do first between these, those two numbers? What do you think? Find the difference. Good, that was the first one. We'd have to find the difference between those two numbers. Remember doing that last time? The only time you wouldn't have to do that is if I gave you a percentage and said you're already getting an 8% raise. That's automatically your 8% increase. You, you've already done that. That was our last example from last time. If you don't remember that, go refresh remember those videos. That was our percent raise. You said you had $12.30, you got an 8% raise. You don't have to find the difference there. But if I give you two numbers like this, and I say find the percent increase, then absolutely step number one is find the difference. So to find the difference here, we'd say 18.2 minus 17.5. Can you all tell me what is the difference between those two numbers, please? <coughs> say it again. 0.7. Are you all okay finding the difference? Yes. Now the second step was the most important step. The second step is going to relate the difference to one of these numbers. Mm -hmm. Step number two was can you rewrite the problem as, what, what, what do you rewrite it as? Look back at your notes problem. if you have to. A percentage problem, very good. We have to write as a percentage problem. What we did is we wrote one of these numbers is what percent of one of the other numbers up there? What's the number we start with right here? That's the number we start with up here, but we want to find out what percent, or sorry, what number is what percent of what we started with. So what you do is you take your difference. You take the difference. You say 0 0.7 is 1.7. Now here's the part where you gotta get this right. You gotta know whether you're supposed to put the 17.5 or the 18.2 and why. Which one are we supposed to put? 17.5. 17.5 and why? That's your original. That's exactly right. You guys are right. So we're trying to figure out the increase based on our original number. We're not picking the 17.5 because it's smaller. We wouldn't be picking the 18.2 because it's bigger. That's not what we're looking at. What we're looking at is what number did you start with? What number did you end with? When we looked at our gas mileage, it started at 17.5, right? It ca something caused it to be increased to 18.2, but it started here. So we're basing our increase on what we started with. Are you, are you following me on this? So this difference goes here, which is started with goes there. And we answer this question. 0.7 is what percent of 17.5? Fortunately for us, hey, we just did that, right? You just did a whole homework on that. That's awesome. Can you set up the percent equation from here? I hope so. What number goes right here? Everybody. Good. Can you tell me, ladies and gentlemen, according to this problem, what goes right here? Variable. Variable. Why? Why a variable here? Because. What percent? So we don't know it. Okay, everyone in here, look at the board here real quick. What is going right there? 
17.5. That's not everybody. That's like two people. My good. Do you know it? If you know it, say it. If you don't know it, you'll be able to be asking questions right now, because this is the only time we're going to get to go over this. So, do you know what number goes here and why it goes right there? 17.5. Because it's the of spot. Very good. We do is over of equals percent over 100. So our our is. What's our is? 0.7. 0.7 is, that's right. What percent, I don't know what percent of 17.5, and that's always 100. How do you solve that problem again? Cross multiply. Great, yeah, we got some calculators too. So we're going to get 17.5x equals 0.7 times 100. That should give you 70. 17.5x equals 70, and can you also tell me how you get rid of the 17.5? X, what's 70 divided four. by? Four. Wait, four even? Yeah. Oh, that's kind of nice. I gave you nice numbers, didn't I? Yes. Yeah. Four, four what? Four miles per gallon, percent. four dollars, four? Percent. You're trying to find percent increase. So that's definitely a percent. So let's say you were this manufacturer, okay? You, you <coughs> try out this additive and you do a couple different batches, but you find out the best you can do is make your car go from 17.5 to 18.2. Well, on the, on the marketing plan, you're not going to say that, right? You're not going to say you're going to increase from here to here because not everyone's car does this, do they, does it? Does your car get 17.5 miles per gallon if you have a car? Maybe more, maybe less, right? But what you could say is, well, hey, according to my research, it will increase your gas mileage 4%. That would be across the board. So it'd say, hey, if you, if you drive a car that gets 26 miles a gallon, increase 4%. Five miles a gallon, increase 4%. It would increase 4% across the board for this car. Does that make sense to you? So you, you're, it's, it's useful to represent these things as percents. That way you can tell other people about them. Because if you say, oh, well, it increased my gas mileage from here to here, that's not going to relate to me because I get 26 miles a gallon. So I want to know exactly how much that's going to be for me. If I knew it was 4%, I could figure that out. I'd say, oh, well, what's 4% of my gas mileage, of 26 miles per gallon? Then I could be able to figure out how much that would, would give me as far as a numerical increase in gas mileage. Do you feel okay with percent increase? Do you understand the idea behind it? So if I give you two numbers, sure, you're finding the difference, you're setting up a percent problem, and you're solving it. It's based on what you started with. The 17.5, that's what you started with. Difference is what percent of what you started with. That's our percent increase. Now, we're going to look at percent decrease right now. I've got to tell you, it's going to be very, very similar to this. It's the same exact concept. You know, every once in a while, cities go through trends where they, they actually lose population. Uh, people die or people stop moving in and, and, and people die or uh, people just don't want to live in the city anymore and, and they leave. So this happened to, to Los Angeles in the early stages of L.A. The population decreased from 1.52 million people, so about 1,520,000, so 1.52 million to 1.46 million. Now, of course, 1.52 to 1.46 doesn't sound like a whole lot, but you've got to figure that's about uh, 60,000 people who, who left. Because that's a lot of people. You with me on that? LA? Yeah. This was years ago. So when LA was a lot smaller, because it's a bit more than a million now. But if, if you go from 1.52 million to 1.46 million, you've just lost 60,000 people from your city. Is that important to know? Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah, because people in cities pay taxes, right? And so if the government's going, well, hey, I have less people, I'm going to have less taxes from them, I'm going to have to cut my budget back. You understand why it might be important to find out percentage-wise what percent drop is that? That's the idea. So if we go from 1.52 to 1.46 million, and you're like, well, yeah, 60,000 people, how does that relate to a budget? What percent of a budget am I going to have to cut? Do you get it? So we're going to figure that out right now. So the population, so as an example for you, population of LA decreased. Pop is population. So population of LA
decreased from 1.52 million people to 1.46 million people. What we want to find out is percent decrease. Why are we looking at percent decrease rather than increase? Yeah, it's dropping, right? You can't find percent increase if it's dropping. So here's the deal. You're going to be doing exactly the same thing, only your numbers are getting smaller rather than bigger. That's it. So the same ideas are going to apply. We're still going to be finding the difference. We're still going to be relating it to the number we started with. That's still going to give us a percentage. Only this time it's a percentage of dropping rather than a percentage of raising. Do you see, see that? See how we're going to be using that same, same exact idea? So we're going to find the percent decrease. Okay, same rules apply. So same rules. If you're given two numbers, you still got to find the difference between them. So 1.52 to 4.6, 4, uh, 1.46, can you find the difference between those numbers? 60,000. Sure, so uh, it, as a decimal. Find it as a decimal. So we do... Yeah, just subtract them. That's the difference. 1.52 minus 1.46. That's going to give you the difference or the drop from one number to it to the next. How much is that? 0.06. You all okay with the 0.06? You sure? So that's the E, right? That's how much you lost. You lost 0 0.06 million people. If you want to talk about numbers, 0 0.06 million people is 60,000 people. There's a lot of people. Okay, they, they, they left the city. Now, what we want, we don't want 0 0.06. 0 0.06 isn't the percent. Okay, 0 0.06 is numerically how many people they lost. To find the percentage, we got to do step number two. We've got to relate this number back to what we started with. That's step two. So we'd say, okay, well, what's the difference again? 0 0.6. 0 point, no, not 0 0.6. 0 0.06? Yeah, is there a difference between point, 0 0.6 and point 0 0.06? Okay, so. We have this number, 0 0.06 is what percent of, now here, here's what you got to really watch and pay attention, okay? So check it up on the board. Firstly, are you okay getting the difference? Yeah. Nextly, do you see the similarity between this problem? We're stating the difference is what percent of, and you're going to give me another number. Now the key is, what number are you going to give me? Are you going to give me the 1.52 or the 1.46? And it depends on what you started with. What did the population start at? 1.52. The union is 1.52 then. What it started with. Notice how your gas mileage started at 17.5. Your population started at 1.52. It fell, but it started there of 1.52. So difference? Sure. Set up your percent equation. 0 0.6. I said it too. 0 0.06 is what percent of 1.52? That's what you started with. And then we can go ahead and make up our percent equation here and solve it. So help me out on this one, ladies and gentlemen. What number goes right here, please? What number goes right there? Good. How about here? And here? That's it. Is over of equals percent over 100. Of course, we can cross multiply. We'll get 1.52x equals 6.